Esther. Alfred here. Of you, me, and Sicily. And on this episode, we're going to go to Tre Castagni in the province of Catania to explore the ancestral home of so many that left Sicily to seek a better future for themselves and their family. Tre Castagni, you know, is one of the beautiful little paesi etnas, the little communities that dot the slopes of Etna. Beautiful places. You know, I was thinking, Alfred, it took, must have taken so much courage for those people to leave their home, to leave their family, and go to a completely unknown situation, an unknown land. Well, you know, kind of slim pickings here. No jobs, earthquake, devastation, famine, you name it, was here. And the United States of America in those days were, you know, paved with gold. The roads were paved with gold. So they went over there. Usually they had people that sponsored them, relatives that had uh, went over. But guess what? Most of them went into a life of indentured servitude, working in the sweatshops. That's what happened to that first generation. Okay, enjoy this episode. Peace. They came to escape poverty, earthquakes, disease, famine, and for a chance for a better life for themselves and their families. Beginning in 1880 to about 1920, about one million Sicilians left their motherland and emigrated to the United States. America offered hope, freedom, and jobs. Many came to Massachusetts, and specifically Lawrence, where they worked in the textile and other mills. Antonio Campagna and his family left the mountain village of Tre Castagni around 1870 when he was 10 years old and settled in Lawrence, Massachusetts. He had seven children with his first wife and after she passed away, remarried and had seven more. Antonio and Maria met and married in Lawrence and had seven children, Frank, Jimmy, Sam, Teresa, Catherine, Henry and John. Their story is similar to thousands of others who immigrated from Tre Castagni and the surrounding villages of Via Grande, Badara, Nicolosi, Acibonacorsi, Aci San Antonio, Zafarana del Etna, and others, and settled first in Lawrence and then the surrounding communities. They raised families, worked in sweatshops, and opened businesses centered around Common, Newbury, Essex, and Haverhill Streets. Tre Castagni rises on the slopes of Mount Etna and is one of the municipalities at the highest altitude of the mountain. This lends itself to a majestic panorama of the sea. From the left, Tarmina. On a clear day, you can even see Calabria. And to the right, the port of Catania. The population is a mix of young and old. There's the old part of town, modern section and plenty of farmland. Tre Castagni Center is usually bustling with activity. Its most well-known church is the Sanctuary of San Alfio, Philadelphia and Torino, which sits in the Piazza of San Alfio with the beautiful backdrop of Mount Etna. The Festival of San Alfio, Philadelphia, and Chirino is held on May 9th and 10th and attracts visitors from all over the world who come to pay homage to the brothers martyred in 251 AD. Events and celebrations are held for weeks after the 10th. The Piazza Marconi, just up the street from the Piazza San Alfio, has a beautiful garden with glorious flowers, a fountain, World War I memorial, the municipal building, and is surrounded by cafes and shops. Young and old come to socialize, attend concerts or festivals, or just to hang out. Mother Church, dedicated to San Nicola de Bari, patron of Tre Castagni, was originally built in 1351 and was rebuilt after the 1693 earthquake. The 
current structure of the Church of Santa Maria della Misericordia dates back to 1734. also the Church of St. Anthony of Padua and several other churches around town. In 1669, Trecastani was devastated by an eruption from Mount Etna, and many structures you see today have been rebuilt from that era. Later, as a consequence of the earthquake of 1693, there was a decline of the population like the whole area of Catania hard hit by the earthquake. Besides beautiful Spanish buildings and churches, Recastagni is home to one of the biggest Sicilian cart museums in Sicily. Situated in a private villa, it is run by Giuseppe Giuffrida, whose grandfather used a cart to carry people around in the old days. Tre Castagni is also home to several vineyards, olive farms, and villas. Alfred, you grew up in Lawrence in a Sicilian-American household. What was that like? Well, it was a very strong bilingual, bicultural experience for my generation, that's for sure, because we had, we had Sicilian spoken in the house all the time. But it was good because the whole idea of working hard, studying hard, succeeding in life was pretty much ingrained in my generation at least. And St. Alfio was also a big part of your life growing up. Well, the church in general, it was much more Catholic in those days in my view. We went to Mass every single solitary Sunday, and our patron saint was St. Alfio, which had come from here. My grandfather was one of the people who brought it from here. So my family has a long, lineal relationship with that, fi that, fe that particular festival. Okay, if you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we have many more Ancestral Home episodes coming your way. And you mean Sicily.com and? Facebook, she always forgets <laughs> Facebook. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Peace. Ciao.